Tips on how to start an auto detailing business as a teenager. First, you're going to need a car. Offer to do mom and dad's vehicle for free, or maybe even your friends, family, or your neighbor's cars. They're gonna to wanna to support your business, and it'll give you great hands-on experience to learn what products and processes you're going to use when you actually do have a paid customer. Understand, it takes time to build a customer base, so be patient. Don't be afraid to put in a little bit of sweat equity. Make sure you're taking quality before and after pictures, one for insurance sake, and two for marketing. You can put them on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, if mom and dad are okay with that. Heck, you can even open up a Google My Business page. Go onto the next door app, share some of the work that you've done, maybe a quality 50-50 picture, a before and after shot of a nasty tire or nasty seat that you've been able to clean. People love that kind of stuff. But if you put the information out there, people will respond. But make sure you actually get back to them because if you're not engaging with your audience, they're gonna find someone who will do it for them. So make sure if you put the information out there, you follow up. When it comes to the actual process of detailing, here's some of the tools that you're going to want to invest in. A wet dry vac. I use a four gallon rigid unit that's compact but powerful and I upgraded for the detailing kit so that way I have a smaller hose that gives me better suction to give me better quality results for my customers. Extracting interiors, something like the Bissell Spot Clean Pro is going to be able to give you professional level results without breaking the bank. It might not be the most expensive unit out there and it might take a little bit of time but you're going to be able to offer your customers extracting which is one service that most people are looking for because the reality is you can vacuum everything, but if there's tons of stains, they're gonna be kind of disappointed. So being able to have an extractor is gonna give you better results and you're gonna be able to make more money. Here with that extractor, I recommend you pick up a drill and a drill brush. That way, when it comes to agitating the chemical for extracting, you're gonna be able to get deep clean results. Your dad might actually have one of these laying around and they can actually come in handy on other areas of the house as you get older. But for doing interiors, this is a must have tool that will give you pro level results without really having to go through a lot of effort. Pressure washer. You don't need anything fancy. I use a Ryobi 1900, but having the high pressure water is gonna give you better results and give you faster turnaround on customers' vehicles. Trust me, you don't wanna just use a standard hose. You can work with it, but it's definitely going to speed up the process if you invest in a pressure washer. Having some quality tools to go with the pressure washer really will help you get the most out of the tool. Some five gallon buckets to be able to wash the exterior with, as well as one for tires and wheels. Make sure you keep those separate. And don't forget to throw those grit guards in the bottom so that way it will help keep the dirt settled on the bottom for you. Speaking of tires and wheels, make sure you have quality brushes to be able to clean all the various surfaces on the exterior. There's your wheel well brush, tire brush, your wheel face brush, your inner wheel spoke, and then for your lug nuts, door jams, engines, all the intricate little areas that you might need to clean even emblems and badges, your chemical resistant detail brush. From there, get your soap in, Get your vehicle set up. Make sure you have some microfiber drying towels and wash mitts. Ooh, that's soft. For auto detailing, when you're just starting out, these are the four tools that I would recommend you have within your arsenal that will really help give you better results that your customers will be extremely satisfied with, give you raving five-star reviews, and really help spread the word of the quality of work that you can do for their vehicles. So that's the tools. And last but not least, are the chemicals. Now this is where it can get a little overwhelming because there's so many different options on the market. The basic chemicals that you're going to want are a glass cleaner, a plastic cleaner for interiors, a carpet and upholstery cleaner, some sort of dressing for your plastics. You don't need to go crazy shiny, just something that has UV protection, a degreaser for door jams, engine bays and tires, a wheel cleaner, a soap for the exterior, a clay bar or clay towel to do decontamination if you wanna offer that, and then some sort of protection for the exterior. I like ceramic sealants that are easy to work with and they give really good results for the customer. Beyond that, a tire dressing 
and call it a day. So really 10 products, 10 chemicals that you need for the exterior and interior of a vehicle to make sure that it is nice and fresh and clean. You might need a step ladder as well because you might be a little bit challenged on the height side, but don't worry, that will come in time. You might need a canopy, but you don't necessarily need those things. I'll put some links of my favorite products down below that are easy to use, affordable, and give really great results for those of you that kind of want to cut the crap and get products that are going to perform really well. But obviously, do your research. You might want to just reach out to some family friends and see if they have some products that work well for them, but the best experience is going to be hands-on training. But don't forget, the most important tool is you. Make sure that you're educating yourself and always asking questions. Find someone that you can learn from and it's gonna really help you grow your detailing business. There's so many people within this industry that have started young and even started old and are thriving. This business, this industry has so much potential for those people who are willing to put in a little bit of sweat equity and have a passion for giving good results for their customers. And honestly, we just enjoy that satisfying before and after. So if you guys enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what other questions you guys might have about starting a detailing business. And if you have a friend that you know could benefit from this, by all means, share this video with them because this is one of the industries that there's no age requirement Really. I've seen kids start a detailing business at as young as 10 years old and I've seen people start a detailing business in their 50s and 60s. You don't need any sort of certification or training to get started. All you need is a willingness to learn, a passion, and you're not afraid to get out there and get a little bit dirty. But just be mindful. Take care of yourself. It's a really physically demanding job, so don't overdo it. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Stay healthy get lots of sleep, and you'll be able to have a prosperous and thriving detailing business in no time at all. If you guys enjoyed this content, let me know down below. But thanks for watching. Best of luck to you and get out there and start working.